Dynamic views are composed of a number of related technologies brought together to automate drawing sheet production. These dynamic views components included setting configuration variables, configuring design library files, the creation of file and model seeds, and more. To this point, all that has been done was related to setup and configuration of the various pieces involved in the dynamic views workflow. The configuration aspects are now complete and it's time to take dynamic views for a test drive and see how these technologies come together in the plan's production process. In this lesson, you will use the plan callout to create a ground floor plan sheet. In this lesson, you will place a plan callout, adjust properties in the Create Drawing dialog, and view files using Explorer. Open the Design Composition .dgn from the datasets dgn folder. The view composition stage is where you compose all the desired views in the project. These views should have linked callouts and placeholder fields so when the views are added to a sheet they are automatically updated as work goes on in the project. In the sheet composition stage you create sheets that represent finished work ready for publication. Begin by rotating view 1 into the front view. From the detailing ribbon group of the annotate tab, make the place plan callout tool active. In the tool settings window, set the following options. From the drawing seed drop down menu, select Plan view with the Create Drawing option enabled. Within view 1, place your cursor to the left of the building, approximately one half the height between the first and second floor, and then issue a data point to place the symbol. Next, move your cursor to the right horizontally past the right side of the building and then issue another data point to define the end point. Move your cursor in the downward direction below the footings of the building and issue a final data point to define the depth of the plan. Ensure that the following options are set in the Saved Views section of the Create Drawing dialog. In the Name field, go ahead now and type in Ground Floor Plan. Take note, now that you are not in a configured DGN lib, the other Saved View settings are not available. For example, Discipline and Purpose. All of these are determined by the drawing seed. Ensure that the following options are set in the Drawing Model section of the Create Drawing dialog, that the option for Create Drawing Model is enabled, enable the file name checkbox, click the Create New Drawing File icon next to the file name field, type in ground-floorplan.dgn and save this to the DGN folder. Returning back to the Create Drawing dialog, for the detail scale, set this to be 1 to 100. From the Visible Edges drop down menu, select Dynamic. Ensure that the following options are set in the Sheet Model section of the Create Drawing dialog. That the option for Create Sheet Model is enabled. Enable the checkbox for file name. Next, click the Browse Sheet File icon next to the File Name field. Navigate to the DGN folder and select the existing sheet file bsi300-sheets.dgn. Continuing in the Create Drawing dialog, ensure that the following options are set in the Sheet Model section. This will be a new sheet. The annotation scale will be 1 to 100. 
From the Drawing Boundary drop-down menu, select Plan View. For the Detail Scale, set this to be 1 to 100. Fit View to Drawing Boundary. Take note, when selecting the Detail Scale, MicroStation recommended the best suitable standard scale factor for the reference that would fit the drawing boundary. It also recommended the best suitable scale to fit the sheet boundary. Enable the option Add to Sheet Index. Click the Select a Folder from Sheet Index icon next to the Add Sheet Index field. This will open the Sheet Index Folder Picker from which you can select the folder in which the sheet model should be added. Navigate to the 100 Plans folder, then click OK in the Sheet Index Folder Picker when finished. And then finally, ensure that the option for Open Model is enabled, and then click OK. The newly created Ground Floor Plan Sheet was added to the existing BSI 300 Sheets.dgn file. As part of the Dynamic Views workflow, the drawing seed that you selected performed several things as evident in the results. In addition, in the Create Drawing dialog, you added this sheet to the sheet index. As such, the rules applied to the 100 plans folder were inherited in the ground floor plan sheet. From the primary ribbon group of the Home tab, open the Explorer and expand the sheet index. Observe here how the ground floor plan sheet was added. Review the title block and the drawing title at this time. In the Explorer, if you were, to drag the ground floor plan sheet to another folder within the sheet index, the naming rules from that respective folder would be inherited. The properties would then be reflected within the sheet as you have seen here in the drawing title and in the title block. Furthermore, as more sheets are added to the sheet index, the current sheet number and the overall sheet total will update accordingly. In the next exercise, you will include the other existing sheets from this sheet file into the sheet index. Next, you will need to return to the Design Composition DGN file via the Plan View marker to resize the clip volume. The clip volume region was automatically sized when placing the callout. As such, this region may not encompass future annotations, and elements alike. Move your cursor over the yellow plan view marker to invoke the mini toolbar. From here, select Open Design Model. This action will open the Design Composition DGN file. Furthermore, the ground floor plan saved view has been applied with an addition of the sheet annotation, which, of course, could be turned off via the mini toolbar. With the Element Selection tool active, issue a data point on the yellow plan view marker to make the clip volume active for editing. Adjust each of the four blue edit handles, expanding the clip volume outwards towards the border line work. After adjusting the blue edit handles from the clip volume, return to the ground floor plan sheet by invoking the mini toolbar from the yellow plan view marker. In this lesson, you placed a plan callout, adjusted properties in the crate drawing dialog, and viewed files using Explorer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.